I'm here at Bisteka Tuscan Steakhouse today in search for the best steak in Singapore. Bisteka has been here for 10 years now and everything we need to know is already in the name. Bisteka translates to steak in Italian and if you didn't catch that, the Tuscan in the name should be a pretty big giveaway. And when we talk about Tuscan steaks, we need to talk about Bisteka alla Fiorentina or the Florentine steak. Purists will have plenty to say about the proper way to make a uh, Bisteca Alem Fiorentina. But from what I know, there are two absolute necessities. One is that it needs to be a T-bone, and two is that it has to be a wood fire grill. This gives the steak an unmatched fragrance and crust. So no induction electric gas stove or pans today. I am really really excited. Okay, it should be around the corner here, I think. Yes, I am here. Bisteca. Yes. Let's go. Wait, what? Is it closed? No way, right? Did I mess up? Hello. I have a reservation for one. Thank you. Can I take that seat instead? Yeah. That's nice of sunlight there. Since we already talked about the Florentine steak, we are going for that. In their case, it is a F1 Kuroge Washu. F1 meaning that it's crossbred between a pure wagyu and some other cattle, uh, which is Tajima cattle for the, the beef they have here. And they are also 480 days grain fed, marble score of 6 from Australia, which is roughly equivalent to A4 in terms of marbling. I like the 900 Fiorentina. Yeah. Medium rare. Medium rare. Yeah. No, that'll be all. Okay. Thank you. It'll take around 30 minutes. We'll bring you some ready minutes. Okay, thank you. 30 minutes is a good sign. That means they're not messing around. Be careful, the plate is very hot. Okay. The plate is very hot, he said. You shouldn't touch the plate. The plate is very hot. Not that hot. Okay, if the plate is hot, right, that means the steak needs to be coming out soon, right? Soon, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. So first, uh, medium rare chain. We will be ordering all of our steaks medium rare in this series because technically, theoretically speaking, medium rare is the best doneness. It is the sweet spot where it is above the temperature where intramuscular fats renders down about 65 degrees Celsius, but below the temperature where proteins tighten and push moisture out from 71 degrees Celsius. And we will let you, the viewers, decide whether what you see on your screen is a medium rare. What do you guys think? Medium rare? Start of a new series. Okay. You get the obvious heat out of the way. The smokiness on the wood fire grill is very obvious. Unmistakable, smoky smell of, of grilled meat. Second heat. The meat itself has a lot of character. There's a lot of different kinds of fragrances. It's just a cut with relatively high fat content. Let's try the sirloin, or the tenderloin rather. Decently juicy. I like that it's not that tender. It actually has a little bit of a bite. When it comes to steak, right, I don't like melt in your mouth. I think chewing on steak right, is like a very important part of eating steak. But it needs to go away in like, I want to say 8 to 10 chews. And then we can start talking about the misses. There's not enough crust. There's no other way to put it, but I would think that coming from a wood fire grill, like this crust is like light brown, soft. Give you guys a better look. Like this crust is, I don't know. It's not terrible, it's not terrible. It's not grey by any means, but my ideal steak needs to be like crispy even. Like this crust is all soft. There are some bits which are very nice, but I think I ate it already. Oh, some sort of demi glass. Demi glass. Oh, a bit of vinegar inside. How does it remind you of Zhou Jiao Chui? Oh my god, it really tastes like Zhou Jiao Chui. What the hell? Ochotuka, what the f why am I eating Ochotuka? That's why you bother the bone on it. I mean And we are actually done. 900 grams with this bone is about 
180, 180, 900, 180, so about 700 odd gram of steak. Oh, I did not order this. On me. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we got free dessert. Okay, free dessert. Yeah, free dessert. Man, I'm so full already. Hi, why do I still have to eat this? Uh, I wish somebody could eat this for me. Let's get the bill and we will give the verdict. So, uh, to recap, to recap, it had a great fragrance from the wood fire grill. The steak had plenty of taste. Be it being from an F1 Kurogiri Washu or the marbling score of the meat or the nuttiness from the the nuttiness or the smokiness from the grill, plenty and plenty of taste. But the crust is not great. It's not bad. You all just saw it. It's not bad, but it's not great, and it is expensive. You might be wondering, Eldrick, how are you affording this? Ah, you don't have to worry about that because I have that YouTube money. Such lunches aren't an issue. What is an issue, however, is you watching so far into the video but still aren't subscribed. <laughs> Please subscribe, man. Things are rough out here. Anyway, $218.92 Sing dollars, which converts to about 160 maybe 160 USD for a 900 gram T-bone steak. Taking away 180 grams for the bone, we should get about 700 plus gram worth of meat. The main consideration really comes down to the value, which, if you're gonna pay that much, right, it cannot only be about the food. As much as I would like it to be, you still pay for the service. For once, for once, for once in all of my food reviews, right, this is the first time, right, somebody called my name. It's something very simple, it's just looking at the reservation list, getting a name and then saying the name, right? But this is the first time somebody did that. Of course, there is the free tiramisu, which is like kind of whatever, eh. Because everybody can just give free food, right? It's not really, to me, it's not really service. Though. It's just, it's, it's cheap, uh, it's cheap. Service is more like what the other stuff, you know, smiling and just dealing with you. So I have to say service is a plus. As much as I have avoided putting service into the equation, right? Right now, we are at a price point where service starts to come in already. So verdict, one steak, I will walk for the steak, two steaks, I'll take a bus for the steak, and three steaks, I will go anywhere in Singapore for the steaks. And Bisteka Tuscan Steakhouse is... Two steaks. It's still very, very delicious steak. Very, very delicious. The crust is the only reason that I'm taking away that one point. Because in terms of juiciness, tenderness, it's all what I want it to be. This rating, it's not definite. I'm not locking in this rating now because I am very curious what the other steaks in the series, right? What kind of value add will they add to the steak that I will not be able to achieve at home? That's, I think, what I'm really looking out of this series. Steak is actually very easy to cook. It's not a dish like pasta or burgers or even fried chicken where skill really matters. Once you know how to sear a steak properly, you know how to sear all the steaks properly. You may not get the doneness right, but in terms of the dish, you're like 90% of the way there. So when I'm gonna pay an extra dollar or when I'm gonna go outside to eat, right, it needs to show me 120%, 130%. What different like tricks, what different sauces or cooking methods, right? Will there be like the wood fire uh, grill that I will not be able to do at home? And that's all we have this time. New series, very, very excited. I have nothing to point there because this is the first episode. But if there are more episodes, you can catch the other Best Day in Singapore series there. Thanks for watching. Bye.